What is up guys, Soul Sports back again with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how the Cavs can easily become contenders once again. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So, the Cleveland Cavaliers' whole persona, their entire franchise, is based around one man, LeBron James. Since LeBron James has come to the Cleveland Cavaliers, they have always been a perennial playoff contender, title contenders at that, and now that LeBron James' departure, it's time to rebuild again for the Cleveland Cavaliers, but... I'm just going to discuss a way the Cavs can speed up that rebuild and become contenders once again. Let's just talk about it. So starting off with the draft that they had, last year you draft Colin Sexton, which was a good pick. Colin Sexton is a guy who averaged 17 points on 40% shooting from the three-point line last year for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then this draft, you draft Darius Garland, who looks to be a great point guard, was the second best point guard on the draft board in my opinion. You draft Dylan Willer, who looks like he's going to be an exceptional shooter, a guy with great rebounding skills, and then you draft potentially the steal of the draft in Kevin Porter Jr. And that draft is phenomenal. We'll see how it works out. You know, there come some concerns with how Darius Garland and Colin Sexton can go exist, but with my plan, I think they definitely can. But let's move on to some other topics or some other players on this team that can be used as trade assets to clear cap and to get more players so one player or the biggest player that i think is talked about in Cavs trade talk right now is kevin love kevin love is a guy who's a perennial all-star who is you know maybe he's just out of his prime but is definitely a guy who can still give you at least 16 to 17 points on eight nine maybe even 10 rebounds per game he's a good shooter can post up and he's probably the best offensive player on the Cavs right now but that's my thing i don't know if i want the Cavs to trade him i think the Cavs plan will come in free agency talking about the Cavs free agency in 2020 they have just under 70 million dollars coming off the books you have Tristan Thompson 15 million dollars coming off the book Matthew Delavadova is nine million dollars coming off the book Brandon Knight John Henson and Jordan Clarkson all guys whose contracts will be coming off the books in 2020 and now I'm just gonna highlight three free agents that I want the Cavs to go all out for now i don't know if they'll be able to get these guys but at least take a look at them so the first guy i want to discuss is karis levert karis levert is a 6'7 shooting guard playing for the brooklyn nets currently last year he played well you know he averaged 14 points four rebounds four assists on 43 percent shooting obviously he had that leg injury that kind of slowed down his production towards the end of the year but besides that he was pretty good pretty efficient i mean We'll see what he does with the Nets this year. I, I just think in a contract year, playing on the Nets being their second option, Karis LeVert will shine and he will average 15, 16, 17 possibly points per game in that system. And it's a part of wondering, will the Nets resign him? Considering they have Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, maybe you don't have too much money tied up to a guy of Karis LeVert who hasn't really shined. I know a team that will overpay for him, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Karis LeVert will fix a lot of things for the Cleveland Cavaliers. One, it will give you a score at the three position. I know the Cavs have Jetty Osman, but I'm not sure if Jetty Osman will ever turn into anything at that. Um, Karis LeVert has good size for a small forward. I mean, he's what, 6'7", 204. You would definitely like to see him bulk up a little bit more, but he can hopefully defend for you, um, bring that defensive presence at least, because that's definitely something you're gonna need. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would kind of make sense considering that he was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio, played at Michigan, which isn't too far from Ohio. Bring him back home, possibly? <laughs> Question mark? I don't know. But that's the first player that I really want the Cavs to look after. The second guy that I really want the Cavs to go over is Andre Drummond. Now, if you're going after a, a guy like Andre Drummond, I would say it'd be best to keep Kevin Love because that pairing could be great. Andre Drummond is 25 years old currently. Last season put up 17 points and 16 rebounds. An exceptional rebounder, was an all-NBA guy, a two-time All-Star. I mean, and he's improved every single year. Literally has improved every single year. Um, you love to see how much he has improved um, because of his free throw percentages. When he first came in, you know, he was atrocious. Rookie season, 37%. Next year, 41 But as of the last two seasons, has really picked it up. In 2018, put up 61% from the free throw line. Last year, dipped a bit, but 59% is still good for considering where he came from. But, I mean, just talking about his rebound numbers over the course of his year, his second year on forward, 13.2, 13.5, 14.8. 
13.8, 16, and then 15.6 last year. That is incredible. That is definitely a guy the Cavs should go after for the right price, though. Even even not for the right price. If you want to overpay for a guy like Andre Drummond, I would be fine with that for the Cavs. Just thinking about the Darius Garland, Andre Drummond pick and roll, the Colin Sexton, Andre Drummond pick and roll, could be great for you guys. And hopefully he can bring a good defensive presence too. I don't know if Andre Drummond is a great defensive player, but I mean, now that I'm looking at it, his defensive stats last year were great. He averaged 1.7 steals and 1.7 blocks. That is definitely a defensive guy that the Cavs want to bring in. The Cavs haven't had a great defensive center like that since who? Big Z probably. So that is definitely someone that you want to bring in. And I think he'll help the Cavs a lot. And if the Cavs have, you know, a big four of Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, Kevin Love, and Andre Drummond, you cannot tell me that that does not compete for the 8th, 6th, or possibly even 7th seed next year. I do think so. And now, with those two being said, the last player that I really want the Cavs to target, this is such, this is a, really a reach because 100% this guy will be re-signed at the, as soon as he can be, but Pascal Siakam, oh my goodness, if I'm the Cleveland Cavaliers, if Pascal continues this, what he's doing right now, he is a bit on the older side, actually no, he's only 24, but if Pascal Siakam continues what he, this trajectory just continues improving like he has. If he can get to that 21 to 25 possibly point per game range, improve his rebounding, improve his assist numbers, the Cavs better give him everything he wants. I mean, last year he put up 16.9 points per game, seven rebounds, three assists, shot pretty good from the field, 40, 55% from the field, 37% from three, and about 79% from the free throw line. That is incredible. The most improved player last year, good defender, He's listed as a power forward, but he can definitely run the small forward. I mean, even if you do want to run him at the power forward and kick Kevin Love out, if I'm the Cleveland Cavaliers, I'm giving him everything. I'm talking 30 plus million, 30. I'm considering maybe even a max contract to him. But as I said earlier, this is probably a reach. The Raptors will more than likely re-sign him 100%. There is no way the Raptors let him walk after letting Kawhi Leonard walk, but... I, a man can dream, I guess. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Those are my paths to success for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I mean, talking about next free agency, it definitely is not as good as the free agency we just had. But there are a lot of restricted guys who could potentially be leaving their teams. Another candidate will be Jalen Brown, a great 6'7", small forward who can defend and shoot the ball for you. would be a great addition for the Cavs. Maybe the Celtics don't want to bring him back because they don't like the fit with him and Jason Tatum. Or maybe they're prioritizing Jason Tatum more than prioritizing him. I don't know. Some stuff could definitely happen. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. It's so sports, and I'm out. Peace.